shower and hair. Today I want to continue with my stained glass effect look. So I'm going to be doing a microwave tray. My microwave had spoiled so I remain with the trays. And um, I'm going to be staining those today to create a two-tier or a three-tier um, look for you. So let's get started. So what I have here is my paints. Um, this is glass enamel paint. This is the one you can bake in the oven. And um, of course, if you're doing that, I will show you how I get my pieces done in the oven. Also, I'll be using my brush. I'll be using this little shot glass and microwave tray, two of them. And I will be using maybe this also to stick to the other piece. So, let's get started with the project. So what I'm doing is sticking this piece. I'm turning it upside down. So it's going to be like this. I'm sticking it to the center of the microwave tray. I'm doing two of these like this. And now I'm going to start painting the pieces. So I've started running my bowl around the edges. I'm just using the bowl around the edge of the rim. And if you notice, I'm painting the underside of the tray because, of course, food stuff has to be served on top. I don't want it to be contaminated so I'm doing the bottom of it. Now I just will create um, different style patterns. I'm not drawing in anything first. I'm just going in with my brush and my paint and just creating different patterns. And this um, paint is going to dry a little darker than what you're seeing here. You can create whatever design you want and you, you can also go in with your liner and outline patterns so that you can just come uh, come back and paint it on the inside of the liner. So you just create whatever random patterns you would like to see. I've started with the leaf green. No, I'm, not. I'm just dabbing off my brush. I would not be um, washing it or anything. So I'm just dabbing and dipping into the other color. The other color I'll be using now is the violet. I'm just going to come in again and create a random pattern. And the violet is a very bright color. Very lovely color. And I'll just paint that in. Like I said, you just go in with whatever pattern you like and just paint that in. Now this does not take very long to dry has a lovely drying time. It's very quick. So like I said, you just go in and create your pattern. So I've done the violet and the green, the two shades of green. And this is the goal, but because I had violet on the brush, it's picking up a different tone. And I just continue painting in the colors. I've used a bit of yellow also. Now you can add paint medium for a smoother flow of the paint strokes if you choose to. Now I'm dipping into the copper. The copper is a very light shade. 
but it will dry a little darker, of course. And what I will do is just come back in in a couple of minutes with my liner and draw lines at each broken point of the paint. So this is what you will see so far going on. So I just let it dry a couple of minutes and come back with my liner pen to finish it off. So I've just taken my liner, outliner, and I will be running it along the lines. I will come back in and put in some broken lines on the inside. Now your lines don't have to be straight. This is the effect you start to get from this. So this is what it looks like so far. And I will just come back in and do some broken lines. Now it's totally up to you if you want to do that. But it gives it such a lovely look. Now I'm just doing these things at random. I'm not, you know. I didn't draw any design. I'm just working as I go along. So you could just eyeball a piece, you know, no big mathematics in it. And do some lovely pieces. So this is what I have going on so far. This is the front of it. So what I'll be doing next, I'll be using this small, smaller glass and I'll be adhering it to here and getting this stuck to the top of it. But what I would want to do is I would want to paint this piece first before I, I get it stuck on. So let me just get that stuck in place. So I just use the liner pen to show you you can do this before and just come in and paint in between. But I like to get my painting done and then come in with my outliner. Alright, so I will just create the designs that I would want on this one. And just paint it. Then you create the design you would want on your piece. And whatever colors you would wish to have. On your pieces. So I'll come in with the green. Because my brush was already in the violet, I'm getting a mixed color here. And I will overlap it onto the other color to get that meshing of colors going on. So it turns out to be a slightly looking like a brownish color. And I'll just continue going in with my colors. So I'm using leaf green here. Now again I'm painting the bottom of the piece because I will be serving food stuff on the top and I don't want it 
to be contaminated. The green is a really lovely color. I'll just continue filling in my colors as I go on. Now this microwave plate is not smooth here. There is some texture to it. So I'm getting that sort of popcorn effect going on. So I'll come in with my bowl now and just paint in. Like I said, up to you, whatever design you wish to have done there. So I've painted the design I want on the inside. I haven't done the outliner, but I'm coming around the edges with the green. I did the previous one in gold, so I'm now going to be going around with the green around the edges. And anybody can do these things. So don't be afraid to try a little craft. Like I said, the color will dry darker. So this is the effect you are getting so far. Right. So again I'll leave it to dry a little while and then come in with the marker. So I'm just coming in with the violet around the rim of the inside. Now these things are optional, it's up to you, the look that you want again. I'm just trying to create that line coming around on the inside. So I'll continue to do that. So again, I'm coming in with my outliner. I'm just following those lines that was already there. Creating whatever pattern I would want. And I can go ahead now and break up the lines on the inside to give you that stained glass pieces effect. Optional, of course, if this is if you want to do that effect. This is what it looks like. You have a lovely serving piece. So I just adhere the pieces together. Once this has dried off, in a, you know, give it a few minutes to dry. So I'm using the glue gun for this part. I'm going to be sticking shot glass to be remote and the cool thing about this is it has a, a mark here already I'm just gonna adhere that to it and I'm just adhering the other piece on top of it now the reason I 
I use glue gun for this this part on top here. I can always remove it if I want to. Um, I can just run a little hot water, very hot water on it. And this is the effect you will see. I'll show you guys better. 